Good evening. I'm Charlotte Abrams from, uh, from Maples, and I am going to do the devotion for December 11th today, and I am reading from the book of Habakkuk, the third chapter, verses 2 through 6. O oh Lord, I have heard of your renown. I stand in awe, O oh Lord, of your work. In your own time, revive it, and in your own time, make it known. In wrath, may you remember mercy. God gave, God came from Tenement. He, the Holy One from Mount Parham, his glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise. The brightness was like the sun, rays from, that came from his hand, where the power was hidden. Before him went pestilence and plague, followed close behind. He stopped and shook the earth. He looked and made nations tremble. The eternal mountains were shattered, along with his ancient pathways and everlasting hills sank low. The glorious acts of God and the power of his judgment are found in the, this passage of Habakkuk. Habakkuk was a minor prophet, and he had heard that Judah is going to be chastised for their sins, and he is praying for them. He is in awe of the work that the Lord has done and is praying that the Lord will help them as he has done in the past. Habakkuk is praying that in his anger, in his anger at Judah, that the Lord will remember thy mercy. We must rely on God's mercy, not on our work as Habakkuk was praying for Judah. <clears throat> God has pestilence, pl plagues, and all of nature for the betterment of mankind. In previous times, God has used his power to chasten and bring us to where he wants us to be for our own good. We must pray for God's mercy. God, we ask that you, in, in your anger toward us, remember thy mercy.